a Tom here from the Run Testers. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Hocker Onioni Zinal Trail Shoe. Let's take a look. The Hocker Oni Oni Zinal costs £140 or $160. It weighs in at 242 grams or 8.5 ounces for men, and the drop is 5 millimeters. The Hocker Oni Oni Zinal is a completely new lightweight trail shoe designed primarily for shorter distance running. Everything about the shoe is focused on stripping down unnecessary elements to deliver a lean and agile option for hitting the trails at speed. However, although Hocker have minimized the core elements, it's far from a bare bones shoe. There are still plenty of features that help make the Zinal a balanced option for runners. Those include a profile midsole, a Vibram Mega Grip outsole, a mesh upper, a toe bumper for added protection, a gusseted tongue, and the shoe is vegan. The fit for me was absolutely fine. It fits true to size. In fact, the toe box has quite a generous fit. There's a little bit of wiggle room in that toe box, which is not something you often find with these sort of lightweight shoes. Uh, I did find that the midfoot was slightly narrow for me, um, but that wasn't a major issue because this upper is made from this sort of really thin sock-like material. So it doesn't rub or anything like that. It just presses out a little bit. But other than that, true to size. So I've run about 60 kilometers in this shoe so far. And at the moment I'm in Croatia where the trails are quite dry or very dry. Uh, they're very sort of rocky. Um, there's quite a few technical climbs um, and it's done a great job across all of those different terrains. I've, I've found it works really well across everything I've used it on. Um, and I've run up to about 15 kilometers, which I think is kind of what this shoe is designed for, the shorter distance, faster paced efforts, where you want something light and something that will just allow you to just pick up your feet really quickly on those trails. And it does a great job at that. That lightness is instantly noticeable. It is an incredibly light feeling shoe. I, when, I, when I picked it up and opened it out of the box, I, I didn't think it was gonna be an amazingly lightweight shoe, but when you're actually out there running in it, it just feels so weightless and um, really easy to run fast in. I've been running in a few different shoes whilst I've been out here in Croatia and a few different trail shoes. And when I switch from those sort of, the, the bigger trail shoes that I've been using to this, the feel is just instant. It just feels like it's such a significantly lighter shoe. And the times that I get when I've been training in this shoe over those other shoes have been noticeably different without me really even focusing on trying to go faster, just because it just feels uh, and makes you want to run faster. Although it's a trail shoe, it's sort of a semi trail shoe. So it works really well on all of the sort of hard rock terrain surfaces that I've been running on, but also it works really well on road. And at the moment where I'm running, I'm moving around quite a bit and I have no idea what the trails are going to be like and how to get there. So I've been doing quite a lot of sort of road running whilst going out to do the trail. Some days I might be going to a trail and it might take me six kilometers to get, to get there. Sometimes I'll be straight on the trails as soon as I leave the house. But this shoe's been perfect for that because it delivers just like a road shoe when you're on pavements and just works really well for that. I've, I've really enjoyed running this shoe, whether it's road or those sort of rockier, harder terrains. That minimal block of cushioning that's in there Although it is minimal, it does still feel like a Hoka shoe. It does feel like there's a chunk of cushioning there, which you don't often get in the sort of lighter trail shoes that have minimal midsoles in them. So it does really well when you are running across surfaces where there's sort of hard, rocky bits sticking out everywhere and you want some protection, a little bit of cushioning to sort of protect your feet from that, but also to deaden a bit of that impact from the, the harder trails and the road as well. And it does that really well, almost, really subtly um, in that it's not meant to be a cushion shoe, but it does deliver enough cushioning to feel like you're getting the cushioning you want. And, and I love a cushion shoe. I, my, all my favorite shoes are cushion shoes. Uh, so I didn't think I'd enjoy this quite as much, but that, that midsole does a good job at adding a nice level of cushioning. It basically feels like the cushion you get from other Hoka shoes as well. So if you're looking for a lightweight trail shoe and you, but you still want some cushioning in it, this is a good option. Overall, it's a very simple shoe. 
it's kind of like Hoka of taking great elements from lots of other shoes and, all, and put them all into this shoe. And it's done a really good balancing act of putting those all together. So the midsole is really comfortable. And as I said, cushioned enough to feel cushioned without being clumpy or sluggish or heavy. Uh, the outsole uses vibrant rubber, which is almost the perfect amount for the feel of the road and the trails because there's only there's, those lugs are only about four millimeters um, and they do a perfect job when you're out on the tra trails and you need a bit of grip but also they're quite subtle so when you're on the road you don't really notice them and sometimes I'll go running in a trail shoe and have to go on road for a bit and you can feel lugs under your feet and they just don't feel right um, but this is I, you barely even notice them when they're out there until you need them. The only other thing I would say about the outsole is that there's not a lot of this vibrant rubber on it, which leads me to fears of durability issues because you have this really big bit of midsole cushioning here. And from what I've seen from other Hoka shoes using the same midsole foam, it, it's not the best when it comes to durability. So I can already see over that 60K a bit of wear and tear on some sections here. Not a lot, but that is a big section of uncovered uh, midsole foam there. So if you're on harder trails or um, if you're dealing with technical terrain, that might become an issue over time. And that upper is just really simple. It's very thin. It's this sort of minimal sock-like mesh material. Um, and there's quite a bit of sort of padding and cushioning around the back and the heel section as well in the right places. Uh, it also has a gusseted tongue, which um, I think works really well. It's designed to sort of stop the debris falling into the shoe, but really I think it just makes it more comfortable. So that whole upper section just feels, it's its not a, a really tight and sort of restrictive upper, which you often find in more race and lightweight focus shoes. It's very comfortable, um, but also it doesn't feel like there's a lot to it. It's, so it, it's got the right sort of padding where you need it, but only where you need it. There's not additional padding anywhere else. There's a little bit of rubber around this toe section here for protection, but not a lot. Um, so overall, it's basically a stripped down trail shoe that just gives you enough of each thing you want to make it a really good trail shoe. So my verdict for the Hoka Oni Oni Zanal is that it's a triumph for those people looking for a really nicely balanced lightweight trail shoe. There's a lot of lightweight trail shoes out there. Uh, I've just recently tested the Arcteryx Northern SL2. That's a trail shoe that sits very in a very different sort of lightweight area than the Zinal. It has a very thin upper section, uh, and like the Zinal, it's stripped down to sort of the bare minimum of what a shoe needs. But in that shoe, it's like they've removed all comfort elements as well. So the midsole isn't as cushioned as this, so you don't get a lot of protection from it. The upper just feels a little bit too rigid and there's no, there's no padding on it at all, so it's not as comfy as you'd want. This shoe just sort of packs it all in the right places. So there's enough padding in it, there's enough cushioning in it, there's uh, enough grip on it. To mean it can deal with quite a lot of stuff um, and just do it in a really nice way. So, um, and, and also for me, I, I'm not a massive fan of low drop shoes. This is five millimeters, which is about as far as I normally go for a shoe, but I didn't really notice it in this. So um, if you're looking for a sort of lighter trail shoe and you're worried about the drop, um, if you're not used to lower drops, I think this will be fine as well. The only issue I've got with the shoe, and it really is the only issue I could find with this shoe, um, because I've not really had a bad run at all in it since I started running in it, um, is the price, 140 pounds or $160. That's a lot of money for a shoe that's been stripped down because if you compare it with some of the other Hoka Oni Oni shoes, there's a lot more stuff in those shoes. So if you're looking at pure sort of economies, you're not getting as much for your money as you get in those shoes. It doesn't affect the actual quality of the shoe and how you'd use it. I think it's a fantastic shoe and um, I think it's possibly worth the money if you're looking for that sort of lightweight shoe but you want something comfortable and nice. But 140 pounds for something that's stripped down and lightweight, it just sounds a little bit too much for me. So I would have liked to have seen it about 20 pounds less than that. Um, but other than that, I think it's a fantastic shoe and I've really enjoyed running it. It's well worth a look if you want a, a cushion shoe or a semi-cushion shoe that's lightweight and just offers a little bit of everything that you might want as a trail runner or even a sort of semi-road trail runner. 
that's it from me don't forget to like subscribe and click that little bell icon and check out the channel for all the other videos we've got from the latest road and trail shoes to all the latest headphones and watches out at the moment thanks a lot for watching see you soon <laughs>